I'm <laughs> Do you guys believe in this term, right person, wrong time? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. So you believe that? Yes. What about you, Ashley? No. Yes and no. Yeah. Yes and no? Yeah, yes and no. I've definitely had some moments in my life where I'm like looking back, you know, a year or two after, I'm like, man, maybe it is like right person, wrong time. And then I look back, you know, like five, ten years later, and I'm like, you know, like you've grown so much then. You're like, I think it would have been like right at that time. But now, like, if I had the opportunity to go back to that person, then maybe not. Unless if we really both had mutual feelings and were willing to give it a shot again. Okay. I feel like in hindsight, like right person, wrong time. It doesn't really exist after a while because it's like. If it's the wrong time, then it's the wrong person. Yeah, and it's never going to be the right time. Yeah. Okay. Guys, fellas, what is your thought? I right see, person, wrong time. I'm thinking hard about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me think. Damn, you stumped them. I say yes. <laughs> yes, there is a such thing as right person, wrong time. Because it could be some things like out of your control that you can't control. I mean, obviously, that's out of your control, but there are just some things that are out of your control that is this person like good for you? Yeah, but maybe you're not like in the right mental state for it or you want to go explore other options or they want to explore other options. So like at this moment in time, it's not right because you guys are you're get, both you guys head is not in it. So even if you guys are compatible, or whatever, it's just not going to work out just because mentally neither of you guys are checked into the relationship. And I would say it depends on like the time or like the phase of your life, the phase of someone's life. Yeah. Like if I'm, if everyone, everyone's like this, they go to a new city, they go to college or something like that. They're like, no, I'm going to be free. I'm going to do my thing. Like, I don't want to be tied down. Yada, yada, yada. The streets. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> exactly. like, I'm for the streets. <laughs> I don't need no one. Blah, yada, yada, yada. When that happens. Someone could be right for you, but you're just like, no, I'm so in these streets. I don't give a damn. Like, yeah, I don't care. See it. Yeah, you don't you don't see it because you're so focused on everything else. But so yes, it might be the right person, but it's the wrong time for you, or also, it's the wrong time for them. Also, if they're like the right person and you guys like don't end up being together, you know, it could be years from now. Thinking about that person, maybe you should hit them up. They feel the same, right time. <laughs> yeah. So you said you should send that text if you like think about that person one day. Yes, yeah. definitely send Should that send text. Should send that text? Yeah. All right, let me Risk text it. that girl right now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know, man. You'll never, never know. know. Yeah. You just got to shoot your shot. If you miss, you miss. Move on. What's the saying? It's better to live with regret than living with the idea that you never even tried. Exactly. Right. Wait, yeah. what? No, it's... it's what is, let's say it's like it's better to live with regret than living with the fact that you didn't even try or living with the... um. Something like that along those lines. You guys ever heard that? Yes. No, regretting would, would be not trying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something, it's, but I, we, I, know I get what, what you mean. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. There's, there's that I'm saying. not I'm sure, so but I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what well, you mean. if you but guys have the right quote, just drop it down in the comments. Yeah, it's, it's better <laughs> to regret knowing that you... I, get, I guess it's better to try... Than regret knowing you didn't, basically. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, Christian, you want me to take this? You want, to, you want to go? No, I think, I think right, right person, person, wrong time is... It can be a thing. Like, for example, if, if you're if you're in a relationship that you're not happy in and you meet somebody that's available, but you obviously can't act on it because you're, you're in a relationship. Yeah. Right? So you, you have to do something to get out of, out of the relationship to make it the right time. Mm. Right? You can be compatible with a bunch of people um, at the same time, but if you are, if you are if you physically and... No, you can't you can't get out of your current situation then that is the wrong time i have an example wait, I, have a, I have a good example i but, just thought of this wait but can't you get out of any situation that you want like you said you can't get out of a situation but you can get out of any you can situation get out, but it do, does take time because you can't just like hop into that relationship another relationship with the person that you like actually want to right. be with because you still right. have emotional ties to the res relationship you just ended right. yeah, i agree with it's, that it's hard since like you do love the person that you're with but yeah. also energy doesn't lie like if yeah. you're not gonna you're be obviously like rethinking percent for the person that you actually want to be with yeah because yeah. you're still you still have those lingering feelings from the but at that and it's not fair for that person either yeah. but at that point you're no longer in love with that person you but you still love that person but you're no longer in love with yeah. that person yeah okay yeah. wait Jay? 
two things. What does that mean? Energy doesn't lie. I've seen that so much now. I don't know. You could just tell, like, if you're vibing with somebody, like, yeah, you can be compatible and the chemistry. And it's just those things where it's like, you know, you two can hit it right off or it just feels like you've known each other for a long time and it's just easy, you know, just throwing conversations off the bat and you don't have to, it doesn't have to be as forceful. Okay. Yeah. And then my... Like, it feels like you're you're just... Like you interacting with like your yeah, friends. It's natural. Yeah. It's natural. Okay. My next thing, an, another example I have of right person, wrong time is hypothetically, I'm going to put this in the universe actually right now. Manifest Bing. it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, right? You go overseas on a trip. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and you meet someone, you're like, dang, we got everything in common. But then you're like, then you have to go back home. But like, like you said, the energy doesn't lie. You're like, dang, I'm just hitting it off with this person right now. And it's just amazing. But you're overseas and you're like, dang, I gotta go home now. But what if that's just straight lust? It might be. But like, what if like, if I lived here, it'd be different. But then you live there and then you're homesick. You got no, you know, your friends. And then you're a stage five cleaner because you got no friends. <laughs> And you're with this girl, and she's like, this guy's a stage five cleaner. And it just goes downhill. I feel like even in that type of situation, love conquers all. I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic, and I believe that love conquers all. So like, if you did go overseas, and you were to meet somebody, mm -hmm. and you straight hit it off, if that person reciprocating to you, mm -hmm. you guys are going to find a way to, to still keep that communication going and see That's where true. it goes to. That's true. Right, if you the know, infatuation wears off and, like, you guys go your separate ways and it's still there, like, then you got to do something about it. Yeah, right? like, like what you call, like, if you were to hypothetically meet somebody overseas traveling, right, mm -hmm. I guarantee, I put money on that shit, y'all going to exchange co uh, contacts, socials. probably socials, number, whatever, or email, and y'all going to continue um, conversing. Yeah. And no lie, this is my opinion, I think long distance actually would probably make the relationship work more mm -hmm. than if that person was here because if that person is too available and they're here you probably like be investing too much into that it's person and you might be you might be like be needy. Yeah. <laughs> you might yeah. be like hey what you doing i'm trying to hang out today but if they far mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then you guys maybe there's that communication gap that person she's probably gonna be wondering but like i wonder what jay's doing today but, but my example Wait, sorry. Oh. And then you probably think about the same thing about her. Be like, I wonder what she's doing today. And you guys are basically falling in love with the idea of each other. Yes. But my example is, okay, that's, that works, right? But then one of you guys had to move. That's my example. Like, it, it's the right person. Like, you guys, everything clicks. Like, you said, yes, all that stuff works. But one of you guys are going to have to move. What if they're so close with their family? You're so close with your family. Or something happens and you have to take care of somebody. They got to take care of somebody. And then like it just that, doesn't work out. I feel like that's trivial, Jay. Yeah, but that's, that's what I mean. I feel like I mean. if you guys really liked each other, you would guys would come to a compromise. So if she's in a different country and you're here in America, mm -hmm. just have two houses. Yeah. You vacation one half of the year in America, one half in whatever country you're in. I have an example, yeah. Jay. I, I mean, I'm it's definitely worked, but I've also knew somebody that it ha it ended bad. Like, somebody just gotta be careful. Like, a friend of mine visited Brazil hit off with a Brazilian girl and you know like in the end long story short she just wanted citizenship in America uh -huh. yeah. that's, that's so you really have to you be kinda careful you kind of just like have to feel it out right? yeah. 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 yeah my mom warns me about uh, international girls she tells yeah. me all the time Jesse Jay be careful with the international yeah. girls because they, they want one thing number one it's which is that, is that green yeah. card that green but card. I feel like you can kind of like tell with international girls what their intentions are. So like if you were to go on a date with her and then she automatically mentions like any signs of like America, visually America, like right off the bat, then you mm -hmm. just know she's oh. in it for a green card. But if she's she takes time to get to know you, you're talking back and forth or whatever, and then she's like, oh, like I miss you, I want to visit you, you know, that's when you know it's genuine. But like if she mentions like signs of like coming to america straight away or seeing where you live straight away like that's a red flag okay mm. like i said i've never had none of these problems so okay <laughs> manifesting okay. it though <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or if she's happy and, like, if she's happy and established where she's living and you can kind of feel that out too like yeah she's settled here and she's yeah. good yeah. yeah but jay like i feel like in that situation like if you guys are truly in love, y'all gonna make it happen. Somebody's gonna move, whatever. Like, what you call y'all? Y'all know who uh, Timothy De La Ghetto is? Yes. Yeah, Jay. He was. She was date. He was dating like I think this girl from like Canada, and they kept going back and forth. I think she eventually just moved to America. All right. 
I feel like it always ends up that way. Like if y'all in love with y'all, y'all gonna make it happen yeah. somehow. So you tell me, I'm gonna find my future wifey in these next trips that we're taking. We might as well do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you guys believe in manifestation? Do you? Do you, Viv? Yes and no. You just, but you I sound think very convincing. Like <laughs> I think yes and no, but it doesn't hurt. You know, just it's always better to be positive versus you know just the more negative. You are with certain things, no matter how bad things can get, mm -hmm. eventually, you know, it's just going to be hard to take yourself out of it. This is my belief. I believe that no matter, life is all about perspective, right? Yeah. And I think that good or bad, like your perspective on it, whether you want to see it in a bad way or in a good way, you choose whether you want to see it in a bad way. Like a breakup, yeah. right? You dated somebody, y'all on a breakup, right? Most of the time, your emotion going to take over and be like, dang. That man was the love of my life. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry. Or you can choose to be like, hey, screw that guy. He missing out. I'm going to do better for myself. There's stages to that. There's stages to that. I'm going to elevate both. Okay. okay. You, you, you know, just your that. grieving stage, and then <laughs> yeah. you're like, like whatever. Like but yeah, yeah, but like you, you choose. You like like attracts yeah. like. Right? Yeah. So if you if you be positive, you're going to attract only positive things in life. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, like that grieving stage. You're just going through it, and it's okay for you to process those emotions. Yeah. And then you, you know, like get back up. You're like, yeah, I'm going to get back yeah. on my feet, get up and running, and whatever I lost, I'm going to get it back like 10 times. Mm hmm yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you know, one thing that I've noticed about life is that have you ever guys noticed that when when times are good, like it feels like nothing can go wrong. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. felt like that? It's like, yeah. damn, like I'm like on cloud like one thousand right now. The high. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, 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 like you know, yo, I feel I'm yeah. that girl or like, I'm that go. dude, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And like everything's going right for you. It's just that I think that's where like Jay, when you're talking about the energy, that's that energy, that attraction. It's like when you're feeling great and you just confident and you just like that person and just good things just keep happening but when you depressed and you sad and like or there's a lot of people like that that's why they just stay there it's because they just keep thinking about that stuff and they just attract bad shit to them that's just my two cents yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. have you heard that saying or well, two sayings when you're talking about the grieving stage and i saw something recently i'm like wow this is actually so true it says you have to feel it to heal it yeah you do because yeah. if you never feel that pain then you never get rid of it that's true. I agree with and that. I, yeah. And like, I never realized that until like, re like, yeah, that that goes with everything for you to feel it. You have to heal it. You have it's to like feel it. Hurt people. Hurt. People. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of people are just quick to escape. They yeah. want to, you know, like, yeah. not truly feel it out, heal, and do like grow better. Exactly. And then the cycle just keeps repeating. Exactly. Yeah. You just you just put off the pain like through alcohol yeah. or whatever, yeah. and through escapism, you just put off the pain further and further, and further, and further back, and then one day it all just hits you at one time. Yeah. And then you feel it, and then yeah. you heal it. Yeah. And then another thing you guys said is like you got to be positive. Another thing I saw is this Delulu is the Salulu. I'm like, yo. May all your Delulus come true. I was like, that is so <laughs> true. I'm like, that is so true. You have to be like delusionally positive yeah. through everything. Because like, honestly, I don't know if your parents did this, but I remember when we were kids and then whenever I didn't want to eat my vegetables, my mom would be like, there are kids in certain countries that cannot even eat you should be eating this. And mm -hmm. so honestly, it's like the same thing with everything. Like if you're going through something, you're like, well, guess what? You're lucky you're going through these first world problems right now. Yeah. You could be in a ditch or something like that or dead. <laughs> so like be positive. Yeah. True. It's a choice. Positive it's a, a choice. It's a choice. 100%. Always be grateful for what you have. 100%. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you my opinion now on right person, wrong time. I agree with all of y'all. I think all y'all are wrong. What? Oh. <laughs> we both, we all said different things. Yeah, yeah but all y'all said y'all believe in right person, wrong time. I... I said I didn't believe it. You don't believe in it? No. Oh, my bad. In hindsight, no. <laughs> all right. I, I don't believe in it. I believe that every person is the right person at the right time. I believe that no matter who it that. is, I yeah. believe no matter who it is, they came into your life at that time and they were the person that was supposed to come into your life at that time, whether it's a friend, whether it's anybody like like a like like a coworker or whatever or it could be a relationship no matter who it is it's the right person at the right time because it was in your because i believe in fate i believe in destiny it was part of your life's path to meet that person whether if it's a, if it's an ex they were meant to basically break your heart and for you to go through teach that, you that life yeah lesson. teach you a lesson to, exactly teach you a life lesson right because then you would never ever get to your blessings if you didn't learn that lesson mm -hmm. right so 
That's my that's my uh right person, right time. So there's Snaps. no regrets. No regrets. Hell yeah, Snaps. Snaps. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I see it's it's both for me. So which one which one are you leaning toward? Delulu is the Salulu. Just kidding. May all your Delulus turn true Lulu. Since we talked about right person, wrong time, let me ask, ask y'all this. Chris, you can go first in this. Okay. Do y'all believe in <laughs> the one? You heavy in thought, brother. <laughs> I think, man, this is tough. Um, what do you mean? Elaborate on the one. You know, everybody, there's this... Um, it's called, yeah, everybody believes, some people believe in the one, you know, which is like your soulmate, the like, one that you're destined to be with. Or like twin flame, I guess. Twin flame. Actually, they're different, but we'll go with oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. We'll see, yeah, the one. Like, is Jerilyn the one? You better say yes, or she might beat your ass. Well, yeah, I think obviously for me, I think she's the one. But if you're if you're talking about like twin flames and all that kind of stuff, I think I think um, there can be s- souls out there that what do you call it? Like soulmates doesn't necessarily mean that they are romantic soulmates. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Platonic. Um, but if you want to talk about the one, relate like as as a as in from a relationship perspective that is that is your that is essentially your choice and not not like the universe's choice it it's cuz you know life is all about the t- decisions that you make and the risks that you take and yeah maybe things have like have fallen into place but it in in a sense at the end of the day it's make the decision and and you're like I, I choose you okay okay jay uh i don't think there is such thing as like the one i think you, there's a lot of people out there that you're very compatible with but i mean to say there's like seven billion people in the world like come on i think i said this before there's seven billion people in the world it's just can you find the people out there that are compatible with you like some people got Lucky. super reach and they meet like five people in their life that they can just click with yeah. and some people are stuck in their hometown their entire life they can only meet one person and that's not a bad thing that's just how it is okay ladies what y'all think y'all believe in the one no no you guys don't believe in the one no okay i do believe in the one you do but not in the confines that a lot of people think that like oh my god the one's gonna find me one day blah blah blah, blah. They're not like that yeah i believe that the one is the one that you choose. Yes. Facts. That's all it is. Facts. It's yeah. at the end of the day, the one is the one that you choose. You're my number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, now I'll, I'll tell you. I'm like I'm laughing because Jesse's like the one, but in this case, semantics, baby. Or he's like right person, wrong time. Nah, because semantics <laughs> is the right time. <laughs> it's like brain blasting everybody. Be like, just think about it. <laughs> Think deeper, baby. I'm just busting his balls, though. It okay. makes sense, though. The it one is the one that you choose. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right. 